The Indian Space Research Organization has made India proud again. The SpaceX mission is now successful. We are now only the fourth country in the world to have done in-space docking of satellites like the US, Russia and China. Early on Wednesday morning, the National Space Agency announced that the docking of the two satellites it launched into space on 30th of December has been precisely completed. The retraction and rigidization for the stability was also completed smoothly. This comes as a huge relief and a proud moment, especially after this critical process was delayed several times over the past one week. And it once again demonstrates the remarkable tenacity of our scientists. So what really happened? Now, if you remember, this mission was launched on 30th of December 2024 aboard a PSLV. The two satellites, Chaser and Target, 220 kgs each, were injected into a low Earth orbit. They continued to circle around the Earth, one behind the other, at the same speed, at an altitude of about 475 kilometers for almost a week. They were initially separated by a distance of about 20 kilometers. Now, the task was to gradually reduce the distance to almost 5 kilometers. And once it reached 1.5 kilometers, an automatic algorithm sequence had to be initiated. But ISRO faced challenges every time it tried to reduce the distance, especially from 500 meters down to 225 meters, because the satellites began drifting away from each other instead. Now, this drift had to be arrested, and then the satellites were to be brought closer together. All this while, it kept an eye on these sensors, ensuring they are working properly. But once that distance was reduced from 15 meters down to 3 meters, the Indian Space Research Organization started the final automatic docking sequence and the twin satellites hugged each other and became one unit. This was an extremely challenging endeavor, something that the Indian Space Research Organization had not done before. Imagine these two space objects moving at a bullet speed, almost 7,800 meters per second. And the task is to bring them close together so that they latch onto each other without colliding. The speed had to be reduced to 10 millimeters per second. All this was done in a very innovative manner and a cost-effective manner as well. Just Rs 125 crores plus the cost of the launch vehicle, which is the PSLV. Why is this mission so important? It's important for all our future space missions. But the agency has more plans. It also plans to test if the two satellites can transfer power with each other if one satellite can simultaneously control both. Now, this was an important tech demonstration because it allows the spacecraft to dock with space stations to enable transfer of astronauts and other supplies or even do any repairs. This mission is a significant stepping stone for India's ambitious space missions in the years to come. Our plan to land on the moon, collect lunar samples, set up Bharatiya Antariksh station or even dock to the International Space Station one day. But that will require different standards and certification. And even for the upcoming Chandrayaan-4, where the docking will have to be done in an elliptical orbit and with much bigger spacecrafts. So what next? Now, after the separation of the two satellites, they'll start their independent payload operations and act as remote sensing satellites. They have high resolution cameras on board and payloads to monitor the natural resources on land as well as measure in orbit radiation. With this, the Indian Space Research Organization has achieved something it first thought of in 1989. It also comes when the new uh, ISRO chief has uh, taken reins, Dr. V. Narayanan. We have indeed come a long way and there's more to come.